Okay, I promised you all that I would show you how to work one of these um, standard deviations for a discrete probability distribution. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work problem 5.2 off of page 142 and chapter 5. So that's where I'm getting these numbers from. I've gone ahead and set my spreadsheet up, um, and I've got my formulas here for you. So. Um, what I've got to start with is, because I know that this is the formula right here for the standard deviation, it requires me to have the mean. And in order to get the mean, I've got to use this formula right here. So x, the sum, remember, sum, x times the probability of x is going to give me the mean of the distribution. And I've got to have the mean because I've got to use it here, here, and here. So, so the formula for the mean of a probability distribution is simply x times the probability of x. This column right here, got all my x values, got all my probability of x's. All I did was copy those off to the problem. And now I'm going to go ahead and start calculating. And I cheat because I don't have a lot of interest in typing in numbers. So all I need to do is type in the equal sign, let Excel know I'm getting ready to do something, and I want it to take this cell, all I've done is clicked, I'm hitting the asterisk times this cell, enter. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take this cell, whoops, I'm going to say equals this cell times this cell, enter. So again, equals this cell times this cell, enter. Once I've done it once, Excel know, gets the pattern of what I'm doing. All I have to do, see right here, I'm just making my little plus sign. I'm grabbing that very corner of the box and I'm going to drag it down and look what happens. It goes ahead and does it for me. So if you looked at that cell up here in the in this uh, screen draw or up here in this um, formula bar you can see that what's in this cell that gives me this is actually D16 times E16 so once you do it up here, you can simply drag it down. So the formula tells me that the formula is actually the sum of x times the probability of x. So I know that the mean of the distribution is simply the sum or the total of everything that's in this column right here. Again, lazy person. All I can do, all I need to do is here, I can just hit equals sum, and it says adds all the numbers in a range of cells. If I click right there on FX, all I need to do is now come back and highlight everything I want it to add together. Hit enter, tells me that the mean of that probability distribution is 2.752. You could have um, used the auto sum from the toolbar, but um, you can type the command in just as easy. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to continue to literally march across my spreadsheet and perform all of the different functions that are in my heading. This next column tells me that I'm going to take x, the value of x here, subtract it from the mean. The mean is this number here. Put the result in each one of these cells. So I'm going to say equals x minus, highlight this cell, enter. I'm going to just say equals x minus this cell, enter. Equals x minus the cell that contains my mean, and hit enter. Um, unless you want to get real fancy with Excel, um, there's really 
unfortunately not a, a great quick shortcut that I can show you here so I'm just going to continue to go down manually by saying equals x minus the mean and hit the enter key. Alright, so once I'm finished with that um, column in my formula, the next thing it tells me I need to do is I need to get to x minus mu squared so that I can have this part of the formula. That's really what the purpose of this column right here is, is so that I can get to it and square it. You could do it all in one cell if you wanted to. This is just the the absolute most detailed way um, to approach this. So all I need to do now is I need to square this and by squaring it I'm simply going to say equals click here times here enter equals clicking here G10 my um, asterisk click this again hit enter so I simply keep going through and I keep squaring these. Excel picks up the pattern for me um, because it's adjacent cells and I can again remember all I did was just go in and grab this little corner, get my plus and drag it down and it gave me what I needed. Now. <coughs> Now I've got all of my x's times the mean, so I've got this part of the formula right here done. Except now what I need to do is go back and apply this, which means I take the x minus mu squared and I come back over here and I pick up the probability of x. So it's going to be this value here times this value here. I multiply those two together. It's going to give me what goes right here in this cell. So let's do that. So how do I do it? I'm simply going to do the same thing. I'm going to tell Excel, give me the value of when I take this times this, enter. So equals x minus mu squared times the probability of that x. I just want to know what is the product of x minus mu squared. Use my asterisk again times my probability of x. I hit enter and I simply do this for the entire column. Every time taking x minus mu, saying my equals x minus mu times the corresponding probability of that x and hitting enter. All right, so now I've gone through and I've taken all of my x times my probabilities of x minus mu squared times my probability of x. I only have one more thing to do, and that's apply this large operator that falls outside the bracket. Because what that formula actually tells me is it tells me that in order to get the standard deviation of a, or the variance of a probability distribution, I take the sum of x minus mu squared, the total sum, which means I need to come down here, and again I can just type in equals, and then sum, remember it'll always give me my little like cheat box, double click on the f, and it says give me the sum of the numbers, all I need to do is say I need the sum of all of these, all of those are highlighted, you can see them, they're flashing, looking very Broadway. I'm going to hit enter, oops, and if you miss the parentheses, it'll tell you, see XL is great when you hit the wrong key, gotta love it, alright, that, close my parentheses, thank you very much, hit enter, and it comes up with 2.7525, you remember that's the variance, right, that's the variance, Variance, we have to go through the variance to get to the standard deviation. Well, what's the relationship between variance and standard deviation? Standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to type in equals. And remember our squirt, SQ. See, as soon as I type SQ, it says, okay, you got two 
options. Well, I want it to return the square root of a number. I'm going to double click on that little F, X, and it's going to say right there, it's going to say, yo, give me a number. Well, the number I want is this one right there. I'm going to hit enter, and there is carried out to about a bazillion um, decimal places is the square root of the variance, which means that the standard deviation of this probability distribution with these x values and these corresponding probabilities of each one of these x values, the standard deviation of that discrete probability distribution is 1.659 and a bunch of numbers.